so when I'm when I'm shoeing, I have all my tools with me so that so that everything is just a continual motion of what I'm doing. So like, grab my clinching block. A lot of guys put the foot forward, so I put that my hammer back there. Grab my rasp. So most guys would put it up forward and done that on the on a stand. So now that I've, I already kind of know what that foot is on the other one. So I'll come in here, I've got to narrow this a little bit. So I come in and that'll be pretty close for that foot. So typically I can do it all in one, in one trip. So I'll come in, we got a little rock in there. A lot of people, they see a rock in, it's like, oh, doesn't anybody clean their feet out? Well, you know, he could have picked this rock up walking across the driveway, right? They all get pretty wound up. Oh, nobody picks their feet up. So this shoe's wore almost clear through. It's thin enough, it's coming off the nail heads. Here we got a nail left in the foot there. They're hard on your nippers, so you want to pull them out. And a lot of guys will do a lot of knife work. When they're dry, it's it's harder to cut it with your knife than it is with the nippers. And they'll come in and dig this all out to figure out where there are. I've done over 20,000 heads, so you, you can just kind of see where you're going. And I just trim them. And you can use a knife on the frog, but if you're just taking a little bit, this is... Your nippers are like a, a two-edge knife, you see, you don't have to, you don't have to cut it with a nipper or the knife. And typically in rock, a lot of guys dig the sole out. And if you're in rock like this or on these mountains, in the Rocky Mountains, your horse will be lame if you dig that all out. So I, I just clean off where the shoe goes. I reach and grab my shoes, so I'm ready to go here. And the shoe, see I narrowed that down about where it needs to be. Got a little bit of wobble right there. And it actually needs to be a, a touch wider, so I do a, another little trick that I'll do. So I don't have to actually go back to the bender. And I'll use my clinchers as a shoe spreader. Pop that right there and go whoop, right there. Widens that shoe just that much. What makes the shoe stay on? You get your nails out just high enough. And then when you use that clinching block, that starts your clench and sucks your nail down. Tightens everything out. Okay, so there's there's another one. I picked I picked the foot up, pulled the shoe, trimmed it, nailed the shoe on, and now it's done. Typically I will I will shoe a horse as fast as most guys trim it. Exactly. That's why you're the first guy we call every single time we need shoes done another happy customer